Welcome to Lethal Hammer's channel. I have just finished the GPU loop. As you can see, we have the massive heat killer on there. I'm missing a couple clamps here, but these uh, Bytes Power uh, barbs uh, have, they're much bigger than the pipe, so they hold pretty well. I'm going to get some clamps, so I've got to go purchase them. Uh, but outside of that, uh, the build is completely done. We have the radiator down below. Um, the build overall, I mean, it was pretty simple. I had to negotiate and uh, compromise on a few different things, uh, such as the barbs on the the heat killer. Uh, wasn't really originally planning on using barbs there. Uh, was planning on using uh, half inch to three quarter inch compression fittings realized that the fittings were too big and would actually hit the card itself so I would have had to have gotten 45 degree adapters and then put the compression fittings on there which were just going to look massively huge I think the the little loop-de-loop -loop here actually turned out pretty good um, down below I had planned to use barbs uh, kind of hard to see sorry for the lighting again but I actually used the 45 degrees down here with compression fittings um, that way uh, it was just easier to hook this up. Um, you can see there's kind of a sharp angle here that connects the, to the radiator. And then this pipe here, that's actually the exhaust from the graphics card. Uh, as you can see, it comes up down here, comes back around. There's actually, a, I've created a big loop here with a quick disconnect compression fitting in the back. So that way, uh, when I want to bleed or empty the system, I can with ease. Overall, you can see the front turned out pretty nice. Got all the temperatures reading. I do have the fans down below not set properly because uh, just really first time turning it on since the leak testing. Uh, Got to get that fan set up properly so they're all uh, going at the same level. Um, but as you can see, we do have the two fans down here um, on the 240 rad, which is almost twice as thick as our. 360 rad up top. Um, so in reality, I, I almost think this thing is like a 480 for how thick it is. Uh, I mean, that thing is like, I don't know, you can't really, I mean, it's thick. Uh, so it's definitely keeping the graphics card cool. Uh, just to show you our temps on the graphics card before. Uh, this thing sucks at focusing. Sorry, this flip cam is terrible. But, um, the temps before on the graphics card were roughly around 58 Celsius on both cores, um, just idle, and uh, with the water cooling now, they sit at 37 and 38 respectively, so we dropped literally 20 degrees Celsius um, just at stock settings. I, I haven't really pushed these cards yet at all. I, I shouldn't say really, I, I haven't pushed them at all. Uh, but the goal is to uh, overclock them a little bit and uh, see what kind of performance we can get out of them. Um, but overall, the, the build went fairly well, even with the compromises. You can see the pumps down here. It's nice and mounted in there. I actually used industrial Velcro to mount it in there, so it's easier to pull in and out. I did leave um, some extra wiring. You can't see it because uh, I spray painted it, black, or I actually used the vinyl, the vinyl black and that way the cable is really dark, you just can't see it. Um, the other thing is, is I went into the BIOS and I adjusted the, how fast the fan down here was spinning um, just to create more airflow out from the bottom up through the case. Um, but outside of that, uh, the overall quality turned out pretty good. So there we have it, and uh, we'll be back with some benchmarks as soon as uh, it's done.